Okay, guys, today we have functions with outputs. I'll basically, basically, I learned the return statement. And we have two projects using functions with outputs. Days in month instructions. In the starting code, you'll find the solutions from the leap year challenge. Yeah, we have the, the video uh, up. So you can check the video. I will place a card. First convert this function is leap so that instead of printing leap year or not leap year, it should return true. If it is a leap year and return false, if it is not a leap year, you are then going to create a function called days in month, which will take a year and month as inputs days in month oh yeah right over there and it will use this information to work out the number of days in a month and then return that as the output this list month days contains the the list month days contains the number of days in a month from january to december for a non leap year a leap year has 29 days in february Hints, look at the function call at the bottom of the code to see the positional arguments. The order is very important. Feel free to choose your own parameters, names. Remember that Mondays in a list and lists in Python start at the position zero. So the number of days in January is month day zero. Be careful with indentazione. Okay. Let's copy this. Place it here. Okay, and let's take this. Place it over here. Okay, this thing, we don't care about that. So first convert the function. So instead of printing, not leap year. All right, over here. Okay. right now first convert this function Okay. Hmm.
okay this is it i've done it so the basically we had to use the return statement that's the challenge functions with outputs hmm interesting i need practice i need practice with this okay you guys see you in the next one take care